What's happening everybody out there and welcome here to Tips of Fuzz, the brand new series from all of the creative minds here in the wonderful world of your friendly Cherry Soda Fox. Now, it's been a few weeks since I posted, along with my friend Skyro, on the Houston Five Paw social page on Facebook that myself, along with my characters, would be doing a series of videos, uh, a rather lengthy series of videos at that, talking about all kinds of ways of maximizing all your experiences in the furry fandom. Now, it's no surprise that a lot of furries find that their ultimate goals are usually one of two things. To either go to a convention, which there's a lot to choose from, and there is also getting a fursuit. Now, getting a fursuit and going to a convention can sometimes go hand in hand, because sometimes you may end up getting your fursuit at that convention. Um, you may be taking, to your fursuit, uh, taking your fursuit to a convention for the first time, um, or you may be commissioning a fursuit from a maker at a convention Anyways, you get the idea. So, what happens when you want to take your fursuit to a convention, especially when you're using a form of public transportation that's usually nothing ground-related, i.e. like a bus or a train? Now, the video we're going to be talking about today, or at least the topic we're discussing today, can apply to bus or train travel as well. But the main discussion we're going to be talking about today is how to pack your fursuit properly, and this is specifically a flaw... A that applies in this case uh, to being a full fursuiter, but this can also work if you're a partial or maybe you have just a head or something like that if you're a fursuiter in general. Now, if you are not a fursuiter, but maybe you have one on the way or you're thinking of getting a fursuit and you want to find out tips in advance, then stick around, guys, because this is going to be a lot of fun. Now, my wonderful girl, Venom the Raverhound here, has, jet has graciously volunteered her time to be stuffed into some kind of vessel in order to be transported safely to my next convention, which is only coming up here in a couple of weeks. That's right, it's Midwest Fur Fest 2015, my fourth year in attendance in the Windy City. I'm super excited about it, by the way. And I've pretty much done enough incessant babbling already. Let's turn the camera around and let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty guys, so amongst my reorganization of my closet, which is why there's this big pile of jackets right here, you can also see that poor Venom the Raverhound is in a whole bunch of pieces, and her head is way the hell up there on my bookshelf. And you will also notice that I have a very, very large suitcase sitting on my bed here as well. Well, as you can kind of guess, Venom here is going to volunteer her time to be stuffed into this suitcase. Now you may be thinking, well, how can a big fur suit like that fit into a suitcase like this? More specifically, how can that head, which is rather large, might I add, especially with those ears, and all of her bodysuit, her digigrade padding, her tail, her feet, and her hands, not to mention my Under Armour, her fursuit spray, and a brush, all fit in one suitcase? Well, I'm gonna tell you right simply, it can't. And so that is why I'm here to tell you guys how I personally will be packing my fursuit. Now, I know not everybody is going to follow the same method. I, I know a lot of people have different methods of packing their fursuit, whether it's using a big tote crate to allow the suit to breathe a little bit better or what have you. But this is specifically for air travel, sort of maximizing storage in a sort of smaller space. So let's go ahead and set the camera up and let's show you guys how we pack our suit. Alrighty guys, so here we are. We are bedside and we are getting ready to pack the suit into a suitcase. We're super excited about a convention, but we don't just want to throw everything in here and just kind of let it sit because that's just going to turn into a big wrinkled mess. I don't know about you guys, but I like to be methodical when I pack my stuff, whether it's packing clothes for a quick trip over the weekend or whether it's packing a fursuit in a suitcase for a convention. Now, if you're packing a tote, that can be a completely different animal, no pun intended, um, because it is a bigger vessel. But in this case, as you can see, the suitcase we have is quite deep. So that is definitely a good thing. Now, this is part of a four-piece luggage set uh, by Rockland Polo Equipment. Uh, I got this big one along with three others as a gift from my mom for my birthday, which was really nice of her. So a shout out to my mother in this one uh, for providing us at least with the vessel to put Venom in. Um, and the first thing I'm actually doing is I put some of the heaviest bits in there first. So these are her feet paws, as you can see, quite large. Um, they're a little small on me, actually, so I'm getting some new ones pretty soon. Um, 
But anyways, so one goes there. And I usually will take, if there's like a lot of excess fuzz on the top, as you can see, so it's kind of loose, I just take it and I fold it over so it's just more like a regular tennis shoe, which is actually what's inside of there. So then we've got our feet paws in there. Now we've got the hands. Now these do need a little bit of work as well. Her claws seem to wiggle around a lot, so I need to uh, get that all taken care of, which is no big deal. Um, and I do apologize that she looks a little bit ruffled. She was at a fur meet not too long ago uh, when I was wearing her and uh, just ran around a whole bunch, had a whole ton of fun, but she is clean, she is disinfected, just didn't really get a chance to brush her out yet, which is not a big deal because that will be happening very, very shortly. Anyways, hand paws, I put them between the feet, so already we've taken up about half the space here. The next thing I've got is her digigrade padding. So these are the smaller ones here, um, if you can see that. They're relatively small. Um, these are the ones that go on the back of my legs to make them look a little bit more just anthropomorphic. And then of course we have the big ones. Now these go right on the front of my legs, just above and around my knee. So I have a bigger one, another bigger one, and then we have that. So that kind of lays a little bit of a foundation for something much larger. And that something much larger is her e freaking enormous tail. This is a big, big tail, but it is super soft, as you can clearly see. Um, and the fur is a little matted. Yes, I know. Like I said, I cleaned her and I disinfected her, just didn't have the time to brush her. So that will be happening soon. But what I do is I take the tail, and since it's got a curl on it, that's actually pretty handy. I just curl it around in there. I leave my belt inside of the tail. I don't know if all of you guys do that, but I at least put it in there because it just makes things easier when I pull everything out. That way I can brush it and that way I can immediately throw on my suit. But now comes the biggest part of the challenge, at least for the case that we have here. And that is, you guessed it, boom, her bodysuit. There is a lot of fuzz to be packing here. And being the fact that there is so much fur and it could cause a big issue, I kind of fold it like I do some of my t-shirts. First off, I lay the arms outstretched. I also like to zip it up. So I zip up the bodysuit all the way. So as you can see, zipper is completely hidden. I love the invisible zipper on her. It looks great, by the way. Um, so as you can see, I fold it over halfway. I usually try to find the halfway point of the tail, of the hole where you put your tail through, or the belt at least. And then just simply take the sleeves, fold them back over like this. So you may be thinking, okay, that's a little bit crazy but then I just fold it back over like this. And there she sits, perfectly fine inside there. And since this has an expandable top on it, I can just flip it right over, just like that. And if need be, if it starts to get too stuffed, all I gotta do is unzip this zipper a little bit. And all of a sudden, I've got a little extra expandable room. So if need be, I can just do it like that. So now we have pretty much all of our suit, except for the head, packed in one suitcase. Now, of course, you will have a few accessories. So like, for instance, I have my Under Armour. So I have the pants and I just wrap these up. It's really not that important. Just roll it up like this, throw it in here. Then of course I have things like her fursuit brush, which is here somewhere. Ah, it's here in the top already. Huh, silly me. Brush. Then I also have what goes underneath her head, which is my skull cap. Now this one's a bit of a light one. Um, it's not exactly the greatest thing under the sun, um, but it does keep the sweat off my head and it keeps it out of for, uh, Venom's head. So I do have everything like that right there. All that zipped up, and you know, in here, this there's room for like your con books and all that kind of cool stuff, so you can pack that away and take it home with you. But now we've got a problem. Where are we going to put the main centerpiece? Where are we going to put the head? That's going to be a bit of a challenge. Well, luckily for me, as I said before, put the head there. All of a sudden, I have... Da, 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 
a second suitcase. So now you can see this one is a good bit smaller. I don't know how well you can see it. You can see this one is a good bit smaller compared to the giant one that we had before. Now this one is actually within the dimensions of what is allowed to be put in the overhead bin on board an airplane. So that means, <coughs> excuse me, that her head can be put on an airplane. Now, like I said, her ears are ungodly wide. Her ears are just some of the biggest I've ever seen. But that's not a bad thing because I can lay her in here and I could just go like that, couldn't I? But I really don't want to smash the face and I really want to protect the ears. So what I've come up with is I'm going to lean her up like this and I've practiced this with just random clothes and stuff like that. Put a few clothes underneath as a base padding for under her ears, then put a few more around this area, so like socks, underwear, that kind of stuff, something that would fill the gap right here. And then all of a sudden, her head's leaned up, but there, you've got a much more flat space. And as if by magic, her head has disappeared and you've not incurred any damage on the suit whatsoever. Now, like I said, a big tote can be a lot more useful um, if you are taking something on board an airplane. However, a tote crate is one of the biggest ways that I've seen people have their fursuits lost when it comes to being put on board an airplane. I've seen lids come off, the suit goes everywhere, you can't find it, you're, you're in a, a mess, you don't know where it goes, and all of a sudden you've just lost thousands of dollars worth of valuable artwork. I'm not saying materials, I'm talking artwork, because that's what these fursuits really are. Um, so, as you can see, it is a little bit different um, of a method compared to, uh, you know, just a, I don't know, something else. Um, now, this also can present a problem if you're taking two fursuit heads. I'm only packing one in this one. I've got another one that's going in a bag that can go under the seat in front of me, which will be no big deal. So, Venom here can basically just go straight up in the overhead bin, all my clothes and everything else as well. And here in the front, you've got room for like your toiletries, so like mouthwash, deodorant, body spray, whatever. Please, for the love of God, guys, <laughs> buy some deodorant and stuff like that. You're gonna be sweating with these suits. Just another uh, helpful tip here. And you've also got a little room up here at the top in case you uh, may need it. But there you go, guys. Two suitcases, one of which can go in the overhead, one can go underneath, and booyah, you've just packed a full fursuit. Now, like I said, this may be a little bit of an extreme way to some of you guys who have a tote crate or something like that for your fursuit, and you may be thinking, well, I don't wanna take two bags, I only wanna take one, save me some space. Okay, that's fine, I understand. But, like I said, this is my way of doing things, and perhaps you guys may have found this helpful. So, if you have found it helpful, please like or subscribe if you so desire, and also, if you're on the Houston Five Paw social page, page, God, what am I saying? Page, you can share it, you can like it, whatever you want. And also, if you feel so inclined, you can also feel free to pitch in your own ideas and say, oh, hey, why don't you try this or why don't you try that? Well, if you guys have an idea and would like to send it my way, feel free to, to personal message me on Facebook. You can also contact me via my YouTube channel, which either way is perfect, perfectly fine. Or you can find me on Twitter, which is located in the description box below. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching our very first video of Tips of Fur and or Fuzz. Um, and we hope to be making a lot more fun videos like this in the near future. So take care, everybody. Have a good time. And remember, stay safe because the fandom is always full of crazy surprises. I'll see you next time, guys, or sometimes, or some of you, I may see at Midwest Fur Fest 2015. Take care, everybody, and have a good one.